Yo Kuso, Doshi Terrier YouTube, and welcome to a 2v2 clan competition fight today. This is actually a subscriber special battle with the way to kill, and he has joined the Matsuda family, which is now public. Uh, if you haven't uh, joined it, or if you are still sort of looking for a clan to sort of carry you over into the uh, Fall of the Samurai uh, game, which is going to be coming out. Anyway, today on the Tokai Valley, me and the way to kill are fighting against Hunter Planet Knight and Stewie the Great. Uh, going back to Fall of the Samurai, I am going to be trying to get the game. I'm going to be trying to cover it as well. I probably won't cover it uh, as much uh, as I did in Shogun, or at least not, you know, five videos a day like I used to in Shogun. But, you know, when Shogun was released, I had plenty of time to do things. Uh, now, uh, time isn't really a friend. Uh, so, let's take a look at uh, this beautiful map, first of all. Beautiful scenery, and the rain does add a nice effect, I feel. Anyway, my army is here on the right, and Stuart D's army is over here on the left. Uh, most of his army... Uh, Stuart D, wow. The Way to Kill's army is on the left. So let me pause it before you guys and my, my eyes start to... Uh, uh, sort of deceive me. This line here is to the left. Everything to the left is uh, Dewey to Kill's uh, forces. So let's take a look at my forces real quick. I'm bringing the standard that I bring. Uh, some Matsuda no Ashigaru, which is my Yori uh, Ashigaru. I've got some Naginata attendants, some sword units. More Naginata attendants at the back to support a Naginata warrior monk, a flanking force of two Naginata samurai, and a Naginata warrior monk. And then I've got two Bokav. And both of them are slightly veteran, but not too much of a, you know, threat. Uh, the way to kill has uh, the Guardians of Matsuda, who are, I don't know what these guys are. Uh, they are Yari Ashigaru, more Naginata Samurai, and Yari Samurai. That's an interesting front line, I've rarely seen this. Then he's got some Katana Samurai, and some Naginata Attendants. Over here at the back, he's got a lot of cav. And does he, has he called his general to Takashi? I thought he called his general Tadashi. <laughs> anyway, he's got some bow cav for himself. He also has some Yari cav and Katana cav. And there is a Buddhist archer unit, which is a bow ashigaru. And then uh, another bow ashigaru. And he's, he's called them angry rabbit hunters. So uh, that's the way to kill his force. And my force over here on this right side is... Hunter Planet Knight's forces. He has uh, some an assortment of sword units, as you can see. Some Yari Ashigaru. And more Yari Ashigaru. And you can see a lot of these battles that I'm posting up l lately. People just don't like to bring a lot of skirmish. Like, you can see one bow unit, uh, you know, a couple of bow units here. Nothing too uh, severe. Bowcaps seem to have been uh, a lot more popular, really. So, this Daiku Samurai now is uh, skirmishing with my Bowcav. And I'm going to put this one in uh, the um, swooping crane. I don't think this one has it. You can see I'm not really microing at this stage because that one Daiki Samurai isn't really going to be much of a threat to my army. Over here on this side of the battlefield is Studio the Great's forces. He's got some spears and he actually has some bow samurai as well. He has the most bow samurai and the most skirmish out of all players. So spears and bows and some uh, cav as well including bow and yari cap. So, uh, what's gonna happen here is that um, uh, Hunter Planet Knight is sorta gonna leave himself a little bit exposed here. He's going to be rushing forward into both of our forces without the support of his ally. Now this is a huge thing when you're playing 2v2 battles, especially when you guys are not in, you know, a shared mumble or a shared voice server. It's not a smart idea to head, you know, spearhead into your opponent's armies like this. Especially when the odds are, as you see, I've got better sword infantry, we've got more numbers, I've got a better position, and I'm just gonna destroy this kid, like... You need to wait for the support of your ally, and he's not, he's, he hasn't. And I'm just gonna take the opportunity now and start sending my troops forward. I think that's the way to kill Katana Samurai. They're going to get charged by the opponent's Katana Samurai. But right now, he's going to drop Rally. He does have a matchlock unit here. And uh, he's left his fire cab in a very uh, conspicuous position here. Right in the middle of a melee blob. Mm, again, not a very uh, not a very sane choice. He is showering my Naginata Samurai with uh, uh, arrows. And he can keep shooting them as much as he wants. Uh, as long as he's not hitting my more precious troops, I'm all good with that. You can see that... Uh, 
we're just going to engage him and uh, hopefully he's going to start routing sooner than later. I'm going to drop Warcry here because I want to free up this area and push forward against this uh, pretty much weaker player in melee. He has a lot of spears but no real swords. So once I get my swords on top of uh, this player over here who is uh, Stewie the Great, uh, I will be able to uh, just uh, uh, commence and, you know, take out uh, th the remaining forces uh, of uh, Stewie the Great. So. Uh, the way to kill is uh, holding his own, and now that I have pushed uh, the front side, uh, I am going to uh, run directly towards Stewie the Great's force. You can see this Daiki Samurai has actually gotten a decent amount of kills, uh, just because their Daiki Samurai got excellent reload skill. But now they're going to get hit by an Aginata Samurai of my own, and I am just going to uh, pile drive my way through this um, this side of the battlefield. The way to kill have sort of, has sort of been uh, stationary here on this side, but uh, he's sort of been the, the pivot, uh, and I'm like sort of rotating around. You can see Warcry has been dropped here by this one Naginata warrior monks, sort of like in a last ditch effort to, um, uh, to get some kills. But again, this player has brought a little too much bows, and if you want to bring that many bows, you need to bring some swords as well, so you can actually have a front line. You can see that his spears pretty much have been disintegrated by my uh, extremely superior sword infantry here. And they have 20 attack and stuff like that. So uh, with that, not much really left in the battle. I'm just going to continue uh, trying to envelop my opponent with the rest of my troops here. I'm sending everybody around in circles and you can see that his bow general here is taking some shots. He has His general has a lot of stats, he has a lot of armor. He has high loading skill, high accuracy, high melee stats, rally, banzai. This is a ridiculous general right here. But um, he's not going to be uh, doing much with all these units around him. So let's watch as he uh, bravely tries uh, to uh, fight off all these units on his own. Um, there he is. see what's left is just some bow units at the side that uh, the way to kill is kind of taken care of and um, this big fight here in the middle uh, which is wow I'm trying to get a good perspective here but it's not working there we go so you can see that I've just pretty much completely enveloped his general and no matter how good of stats he has that complete envelop and Matsuda Kage going into stand on fight is just gonna mean that my units have ridiculous stats and his guy is surrounded and uh, here comes a Katana Cavalry unit from uh, the way to kill and at this stage I think my opponent uh, just quit the battle. Anyway good game to uh, the way to kill it was our first battle together as TMF compatriots and uh, you know it's generally good. Enjoyed the fight. The mistakes that you saw here in this fight uh, that our opponents do is that they uh, one player prematured his way towards us the other player uh, didn't react quickly or didn't communicate with his friend in chat or something and what we did was we just simply held our ground we stayed together uh, and on a map like this where positioning is very important as you can see one player who was the way to kill sort of held a front line and then I was easily able to come around and uh, hit the other players so whether you have voice comms or you don't Working together with your teammate is obviously crucial when fighting in 2v2 battles. And I just thought I'd show you this battle to sort of explain to you how um, you know, how bad it can get when you just sort of spearhead your way uh, into a severely outnumbered, uh, outnumbering force uh, without really preparing much. Uh, and the way to kill wanted to see this battle, so here it is. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It really does help me out and it keeps me going. It's like the motivation. Uh, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.